G'day guys, I've got a fairly interesting probability puzzle for you. A die is rolled six times. What is the probability of getting at least one six? So let me first begin by announcing that the answer is definitely not 100%, okay? And this is kind of why I chose this puzzle, because it messes with your intuition a little bit. Because I'm sure there will be some people watching this video thinking, well, hey, if the probability of getting one six is one out of six, then surely if I roll it six times, then it's guaranteed. And that's definitely not the case. And let me go into detail why that's not the case. Well, let's ask ourselves, what does it mean to find the probability of getting at least, at least one six? What does that mean? And if you think about it, it means that it's the same thing as the probability of getting exactly one six, or exactly two sixes, or exactly three sixes, or exactly four, five, or six sixes in six die rolls. Okay, so to express that mathematically, we can write this as the probability of getting exactly one six, plus the probability of getting exactly two sixes, plus the probability of getting exactly three sixes, plus dot dot dot, plus the probability of getting exactly six sixes after six rolls. Okay, now what we can do to solve this is we can actually find out each of these individual terms and sum them up, but that's pretty challenging. There's a more clever solution here, right? And to, and to show you what that solution is, let's go on a minor detour. Let me introduce this. Let me say that the probability of getting exactly zero sixes in six rolls, plus the probability of getting exactly one six in six rolls, plus the probability of getting exactly two sixes, plus dot, 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 plus the probability of getting exactly six sixes must be equal to 100%. And if you think about it, this makes sense because this is the probability of getting exactly zero or exactly one or exactly two or exactly dot, 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 or exactly six sixes maps every single possible outcome. So of course this has to be equal to 100%, right? And so the reason why I invoked this equation from the start was by saying, well, look, this, this part just here is actually what we're trying to find. This is the probability of getting at least one six. That's actually what we're trying to find, right? So we can arrange this algebraically to solve for, our, to solve for this. So we know that the probability of getting at least at least one six must be equal to one minus P zero. So let me change color. It's gonna be equal to one minus the probability of getting exactly no sixes after six rolls, okay? So let's talk about this. What's the probability of getting exactly no sixes after six rolls? Well, that's the same thing as getting not a six, six times in a row. So the probability of not getting a six is five out of six. And to not get a six, six times in a row, we just power it to the six like this, okay? So one minus not getting a six, six times in the row will give us our answer. And if you plug this into your calculator, that's 66.5%. Now, before I end this video, I kinda wanna give those of you who are quite curious an additional treat. So I've plotted this chart just here. Don't pay attention to the numbers, they're not very important. Just focus on the chart. I've plotted this chart here, which shows the probability of getting exactly zero sixes, and the probability of getting exactly one six, and the probability of getting exactly two sixes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So as you can see in this particular chart, the probability of getting exactly six sixes and six die rolls is ridiculously small. It's so small, you can barely even see it show up, okay? Um, now, the reason why I'm showing you this chart, showing the probability distribution, is because there's got to be some of you who are thinking, well, hold on, my intuition can't be too misleading. If I roll a die six times, surely that means something if I times the probability by the number of occurrences, right? And you're actually not wrong. It does mean something, right? So get excited. When you get your probability times by your number of repeats, what you're actually finding is your most likely outcome. So in this case, just by looking at this chart, you can see that one six is actually your most likely outcome. And that is because one sixth, your probability, times the number of attempts, six, is equal to one. So that's what it means. Your expected value or your most likely outcome is your probability times your number of repeats.
Just so you guys know, I also do a whole bunch of videos in engineering statics, dynamics, and vibrations. You can check them out too if you want. Cheers.